Imagine if Balenciaga got a fourth of the negative press coverage that Dave Chappelle's last Netflix special did. Because you bet your ass if Balenciaga would have had kids posing in otherwise conservative and benign clothes with a book that said men can't get pregnant in the background, it would have been national fucking news for a week. Every celebrity out there would have cut ties with them. What BDSM pedophilia, satanic rituals, openly satanic rituals, not satanic panic, Dungeons and Dragons is turning your kids gay satanic rituals, openly satanic rituals, cannibalization of, ch of toddlers to sacrifice them to demons, that's okay. And you know good and well that if they would have had something that, that was deemed transphobic, it would have been shut down in a heartbeat. But kids are, you can go after kids, that's fair, fair game. The best part from all of this was Kim Kardashian, who is their lead spokesperson. Um, she issued a moving statement last week, very moving statement um, on the whole controversy. People were asking her to comment on it. And, you know, when you're the lead spokesperson for a, a brand like that, you can't just stay quiet. So Kim Kardashian came out and uh, she had a very powerful, powerful message that she posted to Twitter um, in regards to dumping Balenciaga as a sponsor, which was that she'll think about it. She, she'll, she'll consider not, <laughs> she'll consider not, no longer taking their money as soon as she finds someone else that will pay the same. She's getting 200000 a month in uh, child support from Kanye West, by the way, because she needs that. Kanye West, who she left because he was a Trump supporter, but she won't leave Balenciaga for glorifying child porn. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.